Your next mission is to attack the solar power generator plants in the Faith Park region. These generators equal nuclear ones in output and provide about 60% of the energy for the region's military industrial complexes. Since they do not require oil or uranium supplies, we cannot stop power production by interdicting their supply lines. This deep strike mission will not only cripple the Illusion's industrial output, but also divert attention from our own imminent invasion plans. Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ace Combat 4. I am your host Alexander Frost and this is episode 7. And it sounds like ISAF GHQ is getting a little bit ballsy. We're performing a deep strike to not only cripple the industrial, military industrial complex power of Eurasians, but apparently we're also trying to divert attention away from some sort of invasion. Hmm. Now, there's only three targets and a lot of collateral extra targets, which is kind of unusual. Now, what do we have? Anything else new? I don't think so, not between... Well, yes, as a matter of fact. We can buy the mirror, which is nice. The F-14... Mm, but that's for next mission. The TND-1DS Attacker. That's a British fighter bomber. It's not bad. The FA-18 Hornet, and that's it. Hmm. You know, I don't normally use this aircraft, honestly speaking. I normally don't. Wait, that thing has bomblet dispensers, that's right. I mean, I could give it a shot. Otherwise, I'd be using the F-18. Alright. Okay. You know, give it a shot instead of doing the normal. The norm would be to take the F-18, but you know what? I'm not going to do that today. I'm also going to buy the F-14 because I am going to be using it in the next mission. Because I love it so. Alright. Secondary weapons. For this one, what does it have? Oh my, the precision guided bombs. And the long range air to surface missiles. Okay. Well, it says it's a spread bomb. I have my doubts. So we'll just go with a bomb dispenser this time around. I will go on ahead and buy weapons for the F-14. Ah, it has the unguided bombs medium. Well, alright. Why not? Because it already comes with, like, the X-LARs, which are multi-targeting long-range air-to-air air missiles. X-LAR, not LAR. Sorry, I misread that. Now, like I said, it's been a very long time since I've used this aircraft. I normally don't. In fact, the last time I used it was in Ace Combat 5. Truth be told. Ah. <sighs> so what the bomblet dispenser does is exactly what it sounds like. It fires... It, you fly over a target and you just drop little bomblets that land on the ground and do a lot of damage. Uh, kind of perfect for this mission. In the later Ace Combat games, it was switched to a bomblet launcher in which you carry this little bomblet missile that you launch towards a target, and it would then fly over the target and dispense bombs, allowing you to drop bomb to fire it at a target and move on instead of actually having to fly over it. Both are okay. Is that another? Oh, yes. Look how big this thing is on me. Look at it. Was telling me to lay the fuck down. Check your planes. Wrong button. I'm gonna take off before I fuck up. So basically, you see the two plus symbols down there? It's kind of hard to see, but basically it means I have to aim between those two markers. Now, 
Like I said, there's only two targets. Three major targets. Let me guess, I'm at the wrong altitude. Yeah, I am. I should have stayed at the higher altitude. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, I have twin pew pews. Wee! I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Frickin' analog stick is the problem. Somewhat old analog stick, so... Alright, here we go. Now, uh, first things first. They have flak guns, and they will use it. So, my first objective is going to be to find it, and destroy it. There's one of them. You know, for something that's so important, you... Oh my god, there's the flak. There. Whew. Now, since these are solar panels grouped in sixes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing around and try and line myself up so that I fly over them like railroad tracks instead of going across them diagonally. There's my first one. And just so you see what it looks like. Omelette dispenser. Pretty nifty. It's almost like it was built for this or something. Swing around and do it again. Bandit confirmed at Victor 250. Alright. Nice and easy. I just like seeing them scatter like that. And then the next one. Enemy facility destroyed. Just gives me pleasure to watch them. Oh, I missed one. I missed two! Who's shooting at me? Oh, there's a Sam over there. We find it. Now, like the fuel tanks, you can destroy those pretty easily just by, you know, using machine guns. No, you're not it. There you are. It's hiding. Doing a pretty damn good job of it. Okay, Mr. Funny Man, I got something for you. Oh no, not you. Just for you. Fly fast. Might help if I turn. That would probably get me away from the missiles, wouldn't it? Enemy facility destroyed. Destroy the radar. That takes care of that. And I'm gonna line myself up for another run. Hello, Mr. Sun. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Thanks for asking. I get to blow up stuff, and I'm getting paid for it. So I am indeed having a glorious day. You know, I think I realize part of my problem with using these things is you have to actually be flying parallel to them. Yeah, that was my problem. It's much, much too easy to just try and drop it like a normal bomb. You've got to fly low and parallel for them to be absolutely effective. I'll go ahead and waste it. No, I won't. Enemy there we go. Destroyed. Now, let's see if we can get that last one to do it right. Six so, here we go.
This is gonna be a little rough. I don't even know what Sierra Hotel means. Damn. The first couple were perfect. And I fucked it up. Oh well. I almost dropped another bomblet on it. Hey man. Hey man, how you doing? Hey, 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 hey. I don't know why I'm being a dick. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, pillbox. Let's see what a bomblet do to you. Color me curious. Wait a minute. Oh, you're an AA gun. Well, that's the control room. Take it out. Uh huh. Another Sam. I'll be back for you in a minute. Oh, wow, that was wrong. More silver panels. I think I got it. Now, pillbox. Yes. I want to see what Bomblet does to pillbox. Because I'm curious. Hey, man, how you doing? Worked not bad. Yeah, I gotta be careful on this one because I don't want to accidentally hit the tower. So I want to take out everything else first. Have some bomblets. I love doing that. I love that. It makes me smile. No, I have to use another. Pill. I have to use another bomblet on it. I have. Now, I should note, as is basic physics, really, uh, for safety's sake, you cannot drop bombs while you're upside down. <laughs> so, the game literally prevents you from doing so. I don't have my S rank yet, so... I guess I gotta shoot you down. Huh? Why, why do I need to get out of it? I'm doing alright. Give me my S rank and I'll get out of here. I can't see you. You're in the sun. Why are you in the sun? Let's try that again. That should do it. Bam, bam. I still don't have my S rank. Game? Give it to me. It's what I want. I could probably get... Oh, let's see. What do I need? I probably need to broach the 2,000 mark. Damn it. He's on my tail. A couple aircraft should do it. Well, look at that. A couple of aircraft. Damn, a hole in my Why, thank you for turning around. Yeah. Let's try that again. It's kind of hard to chase after somebody who's chasing someone else. Especially when he suddenly decides he wants to chase you. That was dangerous. That could have gotten me killed. Maybe the 1500 mark, that's why I'm at. Not 2000. Almost. Just a little more. I'm gonna go out to the sky up north. Hello. Oh, you're in F15. I misread the numbers. I was wondering, is like, why do you have two fins on your back when you should only have one? Because I know how to read. <laughs> Don't you turn. Don't you turn. Too 
close. Nothing but air. Heads up. Try it again. Give me my S rank. If I don't get it on this, I'll destroy the target and move on, because I'm running out of time. Bingo! Alright, one left. And you better believe I'm gonna bomb with that motherfucker. Actually, if I do it right. I might be able to deploy all three bomblets. Just because I can. Bombs away. And then once more for good measure because I don't have any other ground targets to fire at. I missed. The bomblets missed. I'm disappointed. Oh well, I got to use them. I'll just swing in and hit it with a missile. Easy. Attention all aircraft. Incoming from Stonehenge. Confirmed on radar. Drop below 2,000 feet and head south to exit combat area. 2,000 feet? What do they expect us to do? Go underground? Yeah. This is the point where you need to get your ass into the crater, or into the into the ravines, and stay low. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. Now, I should note that, believe it or not, there is a way you can get out of here without having to duck into the ravine. It's dangerous. You know I used to not be good at flying in ravines? Alone. There. Ah, oh, they'll be alright. They'll be alright. I get across the return line, it's all good. That last part, that last turn. I can't tell you how many times that last turn fucked me up <laughs> trying to escape. <sighs> the mission succeeded, but the combat losses due to Stonehenge were higher than expected. Victory will elude us until it is eliminated. So, the way to escape the Stonehenge attack without having to fly into the ravines is dangerous but plausible. First, you need to take the F-18, which becomes available at the beginning of this mission. Once you do, <laughs> what you have to do is, when you attack the solar tower, approach it from the north, heading south. Or in other words, approach from above, head south. I'm still saying it wrong. Head north and fly past it, then turn around and fly at it going southward. Fly at top speed. Use a long-range missile to fire at it. Once you've got the lock and you use the long-range missile, immediately pull up while still accelerating and fly to 40,000 feet and then level off using the autopilot. Stay at about 40,000 feet or a higher and continue to accelerate. Do not let off the R1 button. If you do it right, you can actually fly above and slightly between Stonehenge's shot and make it outside the combat zone without getting shot down. Of course, the trick here is that if you take an aircraft that can't fly quite that high or quite that fast, you'll get hit by the shockwave, so... 
don't do it unless you want to try. <sighs> Let's see, this is the part where I flip. No, this is when I went off looking for extra fighters to flow up in there. Yeah. Whew, man. I'll tell you what. That bomblet dispenser was a lot more fun to use than I had originally thought. Even if I did somehow miss a stationary target with three waves of bomblets. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get hit with a missile, too, when I was in the ravine getting targeted like that, because I basically had to fly in a straight line. I mean, you've seen my tactic whenever I'm getting... Yep, there's that asshole right there. I mean, you know my basic tactic, and that's to hard turn and get out of the way. Oh, I did hit that chopper. Okay, good. Good. See, it worked out. At some point, I realized my uncle, my would-be guardian, had vanished. Maybe the secret police dragged him off for some drunken comment he made. Maybe he chose to disappear. I didn't have anyone to turn to, so I found myself living as if I were a member of the Yellow Squadron. Everybody in town scorned the barkeep for doing business with the enemy. In reality, he and his family were members of the resistance, gathering up intelligence information from enemy customers. His daughter protected me, but that was only because of my tender age. The barkeep and his family were the real heroes, while I, on the other hand, found a haven among the enemy.